What's good with it guys? It is your boy Mom back with another video and you guys can see from the title. Man. It's your boy ZCC <laughs> in the building. Listen bro, it has been a very, it's been years. Years. Since we have done a video together a in general. Bomb. Right, and even a mukbang, <laughs> yeah. right, mukbang. I call it mukbang. Yeah, yeah. But he's the king of mukbang, okay? So, um, how you been bro? I've been good, but I'm POV. <laughs> this is my first time on the channel when this is the point of view. Right, right. We changed You've been going now. nuts on the streaming. You, you like, right, in the first streaming yeah. for sure. Yeah. You, you like the channel name? Oh, yeah, 100%. Honestly, I think it's very unique. You know, I love, I love the POV. I'm like, oh, yeah, that was turned up. <laughs> and we tied it right out. So, tied yeah, I mean, <laughs> we tied it out. But uh, my boy Chuncha did come through for my birthday, actually, which I really appreciated that. And his birthday was the, the literally like four days yeah. later from my own. So. good food here, too. Yeah, yeah, we did. He had a whole seafood bowl. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know if it was a seafood bowl, a barbecue, right. a, it was everything, a bro. soul food. We had it all. <laughs> so, um, so we here today. And what is this place called that we're eating? This place, actually, I forgot. I think what called Russo's. Place. Yeah, Russo's, and it's a it's New York style pizza. Yup, yup. So you know that's a, that's always the competition, uh, Chicago versus New York. But yep. you know, New York be holding the crown for that pizza. And so we got a uh, meat lovers pizza. It came with I think Canadian bacon, hamburger, sauce, Italian sausage, yeah. pepperoni, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then we got our wings. We got barbecue wings, but they gave us crispy wings and they put the sauce on the side. Yeah. So that's fine with me. But you ready to pray over yeah. it again? Let's go ahead. Go ahead. Father God, I want to thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Let's bro. go ahead and eat. Let's really set this yes, up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We had to do, do it nice for y'all so y'all can see everything <laughs> we have on the table. What sauces do you want, Brody? Uh, let me go ahead and get a barbecue and a ranch. Barbecue and a ranch. Oh, my goodness. This, I ain't going to lie. I'm off the water. I'm going to do the blue cheese. And you want some of the peppers and stuff? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Mmm. Yes, sir. All right, cool. All right, we in there. They already got I think I'm going to dive into the pizza first. These wings, it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I only end up getting extra uh, pizza sauce. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You like that? Mm-hmm. Going on the days of Pizza Hut and Domino's. We doing authentic over here. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Let me try these wings and this barbecue sauce, too. Um. Mm. Yeah, they got good barbecue sauce. Dang, their wings are big, bro. Mm -hmm. And it's crispy too. Right. And I like the little parsley they put on there, make it a little fancier. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You like this way? I don't know This is guys. <laughs> I'm keep one I might eat this more often, bro. Mm -hmm. How you been living, though, bro? How you doing? How you doing? Man, I'm at work and grinding, still been doing things. Mm -hmm. I'll be telling you, I get the notification. Yeah, man. It's been a long journey. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> We've been friends for how many years now? Since 2018, so 2017 yeah. probably. Yeah, it's been like five, six years yeah. now at this point. Crazy. You know what's crazy? It's because I, I can still tell you, like it was yesterday, how it was is you went back to Indiana and you made a video say, yeah, I'm about to start going crazy. Like, if there's any content creators that want to work, mm -hmm. hit me up. <laughs> End up hitting them up. Travel to Fort Wayne, Indiana, like a week, couple weeks later. We did our first videos. Mm -hmm. We've been bros ever since, man. Yeah. And moving to Houston in, what, 2018, I moved to Houston, went to Cincinnati for a year. I'm like, nah, this ain't it. Gotta go back to Houston. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did, did you go to Cincinnati for a year? Mm hmm. Just mm -hmm. Cincinnati for like a year and a half. Did okay. your mom move there? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. My mom, uh, my pops ended up getting a job out there, so mm. that's how they ended up going there. Oh, yeah, this is good. How's the, how's the family doing? Family's real good. Um, brother. He's in uh, school in uh, Arizona, in mm. Tucson, Arizona. And then um, my mom, she's still doing, she actually made a hot sauce now. She had a hot I sauce. I did see that. I did see that, So I had just the, uh, the, uh, the Smack Delicious seafood sauce. So mm -hmm. She had a hot sauce out there going nuts. And, uh, I heard about, uh, just bought a factory. Okay. So everything's been looking good, man. Honestly, I need to come out with a sauce now at this point. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> Man. How's everything been with you, though? 
honestly, there's so much been going on in your life, and I've been watching it too from mm -hmm. from afar, and I've been in that comment section to let you know y'all. Yeah, I've been seeing your comments for sure. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I've been through a lot. The last couple of years for me have been rough for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm thankful to still be here. Mm -hmm. Supporters have still been supporting, so I appreciate y'all. Yeah. And uh, for me, it was all mental, though. Mm -hmm. Like, I was going through a lot mentally, so. But I was able to get through that, through the darkest times of my mental problems and mm -hmm. everything and be good at the end of the day still, so. Yeah. Um, that's good, man. Now I know how to now I know how to handle it more. Mm -hmm. Whenever you know stuff like that happens to me, I know how to deal with it more than I did back then. Yeah. So that, I kind of just like isolated myself and everything, but I won't I won't go into that phase again. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. But I'm good now, and I'm I'm back to making content and stuff. Yeah. I feel like even though I'm single, mm -hmm. and it's different, but life moves on. You know what I mean? Single vibe. <laughs> in the building. That's crazy. <laughs> Life moves on, man. <laughs> Number one of guys. So how does it feel to be single? Does it feel lonely? A little bit for sure. Um, I, see, I see you got a little crush though. <laughs> I see I see the crush on the two. <laughs> one of mm -hmm. many. Mm -hmm. One of many. One of many. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you wild. <laughs> <laughs> he turned 29 and started acting different. <laughs> you can't tell me nothing. You feel know I me? Mean? But no, we I'm, I'm about to be, you know, you're probably going to say I'm dating, you know, keeping my options yeah. open, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, trying to figure out what's, what's, what's out there. That's We're going to see only one way to find out, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, so. Man, that's crazy, y'all here in the dating pool. How, how, have you, I mean. The dating pool is <laughs> tough, man, I don't lie. I mean, you've always seen me, you know, you've always seen me in the relationships that you've yeah. had me, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's always been, uh. The tie down the eyes. I don't know. I don't know how you're gonna be single, single Vaughn. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be crazy. <laughs> we can do more. You know what I mean? I yeah. can do more. I got more, more lean, you know, freedom to go do stuff. And you're already going because, like I said, you got tied it up. And you got tied up in the most craziest places. Right. For, for a tattoo. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you said it didn't hurt like that for real, huh? This one, I, I did, no problems. I ate this one. Yeah. This one, I did for the most part, but at the end, around here, mm -hmm. I was screaming, bro. Not screaming, but I was like, ah, like mm -hmm. taking it, bro. But I had to take an hour break, I almost passed out. But they said that's because I did both hands within 24 hours and, I, and I, I'm and i not even tatted, you know what yeah. I mean? So I went for the craziest spot. Mm -hmm. It just went into it, but. See me, I gotta be under anesthesia. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't get like a G though. <laughs> um, I was watching this, uh, Vlog by the little dirt. Um, mm -hmm. He actually got, got his whole leg tatted, but they put him under anesthesia for that. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. He went because uh, he he doesn't like tattoo pain either. He was and, sleeping. Yep. Medical anesthesia, and they tatted him up and gave gave him a, a whole uh, half leg piece. Oh man, that, that's I don't know if I can't put the sleep for it. I know it's taxing for that though. Mm -hmm. Taxing, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try numbing cream. On some of the other ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can find that on Amazon. Aren't it's you tatted, though? Yeah, yeah, you are tatted. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, this stuff hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I hit her on my forearm, and forearm is probably one of the most common places to get tatted. So mm -hmm. I could even imagine a ham. <laughs> I think I just don't do good with, like, I'm not scared of needles. It's just the pain for me. It's just like, it's crazy because, like, for You example, want the image, but you yeah. don't want the pain. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, heights. I'm not scared of heights, but the motion be having me sick, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> but me and Vaughn only four days apart in birthdays. And being brought into this world, literally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm crazy. So I'm four days older, bro. You are. So you got to respect, respect your elders, bro. <laughs> elders. We both from the Midwest. <laughs> Man. And I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I had a lot of fun. It was good seeing you on your birthday, man. I appreciate that. It was fun too. Like, I appreciate y'all for everybody pulling up, bro. I haven't mm -hmm. seen none of y'all boys in years, man. So, man, now you're wanting to come together. Mm -hmm. uh, but he was, uh, he's already at the barbershop. Remember, I told you I got my barbershop in Katie. Mm -hmm. So, he was already on the way, and I had to do something else. So, I was dealing with my car issues. So, I had to come uh, later that night. And I'm glad I definitely pulled up. We got a couple rounds in on UFC. 
<laughs> I've played that game for so long. We both knocked each other's heads loose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Classic, man. I honestly like UFC 3 better than UFC 4. Me too. Because mm-hmm. uh, I don't like that standard being outside. Real UFC fans know mm-hmm. what the best UFC game is mm-hmm. for sure. We're going to have to catch a UFC event in real life, too. So. Oh, yeah. I love it. I've never been to a professional fight. That would be so fun. I wonder what it's like. When's the last time you've been to a basketball game? Man, it's been like two years, bro. Mm-hmm. I wanna, I'm definitely like planning on going to some more games for sure. Get some of this grind in for sure. Do my thing for a little bit and then have a little bit of fun. Um, oh, yeah. We definitely got to keep because this is our <laughs> last year in our 20s. Right. Bro. That's the day. <laughs> we getting old. Mm-hmm. And not just single, you you supposed to be having a baby bar. <laughs> you supposed to be having a baby, now you're single. Right. So who knows when that's gonna come. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Life is crazy. <laughs> Cause food's crazy too though. Uh, but life is good. I'm just thankful to be alive. Mm-hmm. To be living. I love to I love life, you know what I mean? Love living. Try to be here as long as possible. Facts. <laughs> There's definitely facts. But no, yeah, this food definitely slapping. Have you have you had deep dish? Uh like like just deep dish pizza in yeah. general? Yeah, 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 I've had deep dish before, like uh-huh. deep made and stuff, but I've never like actually tried any from any restaurant. See, I feel, uh do you, did you, did you, uh did you like it when you had it or no? Mm-hmm. Cause I was like, you probably like it a lot because it is uh heavy on the marinara mm-hmm. deep dish. These wings are guys. Mm-hmm. Which one would you choose though, uh, first? The wings or the pizza? Which one do you think is hitting? The wings. The wings more? <laughs> yeah, the wings is definitely hitting. Um, what's your favorite uh, favorite sauce for your wings though? Top, like top three. It's really hard to say because it really depends on where I'm at. Because mm. honestly, I ain't gonna lie, like if I'm going like to Wingstop or, or like for example, B dubs, salt and vinegar. I love their salt and vinegar. It's go that's go so crazy. But uh wing stop and uh I'm always getting the tomic. I like to always go to restaurants to try the hottest flavors. You know, okay. I've always been that way to like to love the spicy foods and the yeah. dare I feel like uh, spicy foods just brings excitement to it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> mm. I'm putting blue cheese on my pizza right now. I so got a blue gotta cheese fan. Yeah, yeah, I love blue cheese, mm-hmm. bro. Mm-hmm. I've really run into people who are blue cheese fans. I don't think it's bad. It actually tastes good. But uh, very unique flavor. Probably my favorite cheese. Or sharp, this or sharp cheddar. Mm, I love pepper jack. Okay. And I'll be living on cheese sticks, too. I'm like, uh... Kobe cheese sticks or whatever. I don't know. I just like eating cheese sticks. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I always hated them cheese sticks, bro. Like, Mm -hmm. I always hated them, bro. Like the string cheese and stuff? No, I don't like string cheese. (laughs) I like the cheese sticks that come with the beef sticks. Mm, Mmm. You know? But I feel when I uh, when I drove to Houston moving back, I had to just eat apples and beef sticks and cheese sticks because I remember one time driving from Houston to Cincinnati. I got Whataburger. Yeah. I was like, fall asleep at the wheel, and I was hectic. <laughs> <laughs> I was super hectic. Yeah, bro. I used to eat like crazy, man. Mm-hmm. I lost like 40 pounds mm-hmm. just eating normal stuff at home. And like, I mean, you're already about to be on your last piece. I still got two more pieces mm-hmm. to go, bro. Oh, yeah. I was... Uh, I eat I, slow compared to how I used to eat. <laughs> when I first... Uh, when I first came over uh, for your birthday, I'm like, man, you lost. My first words was, you lost a lot of weight. <laughs> <laughs> you look different. And the crazy part is, you haven't been eating. That's just crazy how much your diet can just change it. Because I know, I mean, not eating, but you haven't been out hooping for like that. Mm-hmm. I ain't hooping like a year and a half, bro. Mm-hmm. And I still lost weight just from chilling, bro. But because I'm not eating out all the time and mm-hmm. just eating food at home once a day, home cooked meals can make a difference. 
Man, this this makes me want to eat more though. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm always eating out, and, and I'm so used to it now. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised I'm not so much bigger than what I am for real. But I, I'm real active though. I like to be outside and stuff of that sort. Yeah. Mm. My last piece of pizza. I'm going home. I'm not going to lie. The reason I think I stopped eating a lot too, because like part of my anxiety mm-hmm. that I was having, I would eat a certain amount of food and then I would feel like I'm choked up off of my food, so I stopped eating mm-hmm. a lot, bro. Like, I just, like, I was getting paranoid, like, thinking I'm choking and stuff. I was like, I can't eat this. Oh, that's like that. Yeah. So the anxiety kind of helped me out in a, little, in, a, in, a, in a way a little bit. Yeah. That's what's up. Do you like, do you snack a lot or not? Mm. Like you like chips and stuff and I kinda have been lately, but I'm gonna get out of it. Also another thing, I think I have a food allergy to um MSG. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. That's like in everything. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. do a lot of food, bro. Yeah. Chinese food. Yeah, especially Chinese, yeah. I almost had to go to the hospital. Cause I ate some Chinese food. Mm-hmm. It had me so bloated I, I was thinking my stomach was gonna pop, bro. Mm. I was like, why am I feeling like this? And then I had ended up eating some wrap chips like a couple weeks later. It gave me the same feeling the Chinese food gave me. So that's mm. when I put two and two together. I was like, it's MSG, bro. Because the wrap chips have MSG in them. Mm-hmm. Mm. You ever heard of accent salt? Yeah. Yeah, that's like MSG. I think that's like pure MSG, isn't it? Yeah. Like you soak that on your feet and stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's crazy. Having a, and that's all. You ne- you haven't been allergic to anything else, huh? Mm-mm. I've never had allergies, bro. Mm-hmm. But as you get older, your body changes. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can't eat avocados no more. Bananas. What? I try to eat that stuff. It makes me want to throw up, bro. Mm-hmm. But I, knew, I used to never be like that, though. That's crazy. I feel like I used to... When I was younger, I had a mild reaction, uh, allergic reactions to uh, animals. Because mm. when, I, when I pet them all the time, but I have to pet them for a long time, but then my throat will start itching. Mm-hmm. But nothing major would like, fog up, but yeah. I was like, my throat's itching and stuff of that sort. But I don't feel like I have that anymore though. But then again, I haven't been around dogs. I have to be around dogs for like a long time for it to come into effect. I remember, uh, I think we did a whole nacho pizza thing. Remember? Yeah, we talked about and you ate that whole thing, I remember. And we did um the hundred nuggets. Mm-hmm. I think I ate like sixty or something like that, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I can't eat a lot of, uh, either. And mostly like legit the majority of my moms I hardly finish my food. But the food definitely be snacking off. Like I already know I'm not eating the rest of the day. Oh yeah. See, that's my problem. I be late night snacking. Like, I won't have an official meal. I cut that out too, though. Oh, you did? <laughs> I had to. <laughs> For the most part. I might do it here and there, but not like I used to. Mm-hmm. When you cut that out, when you eat in between like noon and 8 or 9 p.m., mm-hmm. you, you, you're good for the most part. See, that's what I got to do. If I could stop eating that, see, I'd be eating at 11, 12, <laughs> and snacking that as well. If I can stop at like, like 9 p.m., I, sh- I should be decent. Boy, this is a nice house, bro. This is a really nice house. Mm-hmm. We've been here for a month now. Mm-hmm. But we need the space for content. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you this is a big house. Yeah. <laughs> and friends and family this and stuff. This is your homie. You know, super nice neighborhood too. <laughs> I didn't even know about that. <laughs> I didn't know about that entry yeah. though until you showed me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think that's one of the most surfed up entrances in uh, in Houston. Because you know, all Houston has like the community, it's all communities out here. Mm-hmm. So I love this one.
That was a meal right there. I don't lie to you. That was a good meal. These wings are slapping off. Mm-hmm. Makes me not want to stop eating them. <laughs> yeah, this is super good. Yeah. <sighs> did, did you like that the uh, barbecue sauce was on the side or you wish it was on top? Mm. I probably would have liked it on top more, but on the side it's fine too. Yeah. I'm not super picky. Mm-hmm. Are you cool? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I, 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 and it must be because I eat fast. I didn't even notice that too. Like when you're saying, like I do eat fast. A lot of people do say I eat fast. Mm-hmm. But I just feel like I'd be cruising. I don't know. Me now, I chew my food a lot more than I used to. Mm-hmm. Just so I can make sure it's all the way chewed down and broken down and then swallow it. Because I don't like that feeling, like I said, the anxiety. Yeah. So when I chew it more and longer now, and does it just feel like it's just like in your throat? Like mm-hmm. stuck in your throat? Yeah. Oh, man. That's got to be a horrible feeling. But I'm going to take this last bite, guys. I'm going to finish this wing. Mm-hmm. We'll finish this video. Oh, yeah. Fine, POV. That was good to be back. I'm glad you're back. Appreciate it. Because I ain't going to lie, I like seeing your content. I'm like, okay, bet. When I'm back posting content again, <laughs> I remember when I saw your first video, you know. And that mic sounded so crazy. That mic sounded fresh, super professional. <laughs> oh my, your equipment, A1. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the setup and stuff. Yeah. Woo! I recommend y'all go check, check this place out. It's R- Russo's, it's R-U-S-S-O-S. Mm-hmm. It's New York Pizzeria. Exactly right here. Mm-hmm. There's a logo of Russo's right there. Yeah. I'm gonna eat this. This is probably my new favorite you, pizza place. I was gonna say, what'd you rate it one through ten in this spot? Give me a ten. Ten? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this place definitely was hitting. Because I had told you, um, I said I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to um, eat like Papa John's or Pizza Hut, one of the yeah. main places. I wanted yeah. to try something different. Mm-hmm. We found this place, Russo's. Yeah. We was looking for wings too, and they had wings, so mm-hmm. we got through it, bro. Facts. Guys. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, if y'all made it to the end of the video, I appreciate it. Make sure you guys go follow my boy Chunk Chunk. His channel link will be in the description down below. He's been doing mukbangs for years, mm-hmm. and he's definitely one of the one of the best mukbangers out there. Hopefully, I said that right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, we are actually going to be doing a mukbang on his channel as well. Oh yeah, facts. Um, coming up this next week, so. Yeah, y'all stay tuned for that, man. If y'all made it this far, put a piece of uh, emoji down in that comment section. Yeah, and yeah. let us know y'all rocking with it. But make sure y'all follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is Eddie Chuck Chuck. That is Z-A-D-D-Y, C-H-U-N-K, C-H-U-N-K. Yes, sir. I ain't gonna lie, you've been doing that. Yeah. C H U N K, C H U N K. You've been doing that right. But yeah, guys, I'll see y'all in the next one, man. We got more content coming for y'all for sure. Y'all about to see me with something. Y'all about to catch me with something. You gonna see something. I saw that, but I saw your first one. I'm like, okay. I'm like, what? Why aren't I crushes? So yeah, we put it crazy, man. But I will see you guys in the next one, man. Thanks for watching, as always. And uh, chunk chunk link down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, yeah.